donated to the project or been a, a real part of what's happened uh, have gathered here but we're really grateful that you are gathering on the screen so we're going to go ahead and get started. It is just uh, starting to sprinkle a little bit but I checked my weather app and I'm just going to leave that there. pleasure for me to have been part of this. And as you can tell, I'm touched. Um, anything that brings people together, anything that helps us express our hearts, anything that helps us see 
the beauty in every other individual is part of what enriches us and what, what makes me want to continue to be vitally involved in the life of this community. This is a special place and to participate in this seems just an extraordinarily special. I will tell you that I want to give a shout out to Channel 17 because I was literally walking across the room when I heard talk about this event and I thought in this location, in this time, this must happen. And so I think I actually text, texted um, Pastor Rebecca and said, let's, let's make this happen, let's, let's, let's do this. So I'm glad that we are doing it, it's done. And my encounter with Tia was just the most amazing because someone had um, directed her to me and they suggested that maybe um, I would give a, a gift and she was, she was trying to, to work me a little bit and finally <laughs> I said, um, I'm going to tell you what only Pastor Rebecca knows and that is I'm that, so I don't think I'm going to match my own money. But I will, I will try to help you with some other ideas. But what I want to share is this is one tenacious woman. So you're hearing how sweet she is and how enlightened she is. I'm going to tell you, she's tough too. Because I said, I'm not so sure. And she said, I am. And I said, all right, and I'm right there with you. So thank you all for being here today. Thank you for celebrating this extraordinarily beautiful uh, mural. And thank you, Pastor Rebecca. I'm excited to bring Tia Richardson up here to continue uh, to tell us about uh, this mural um, in these COVID days. It's really hard not to give hugs, right? But we've got some tears over here. And uh, so Tia, come please come forward. I can't wait to hear you tell us about the process, um, what you went through, what your secret magic is to make this happen, and also about this mural and what it means and what some of these elements are. So thank you. Um, is it okay if I take my mask off? Well, first of all, I want to thank everyone for coming. Um, I want to thank Lorraine. Um, your words really touched my heart and reminded me why I wanted to do this. Um, when I was invited, I want to thank um, Reverend Rebecca White Newgren for the invitation and Second First Church and Jeremiah Development for supporting this project from the beginning. Um, and for the people of Rockford who came to help on this project and who I had the opportunity to meet, who welcomed me here and opened their doors to the heart and mind of this city. Um, there were those who wanted to participate but couldn't make it at times and yet the, the enthusiasm and interest of people um, that I reached out to, like Lorraine um, and others um, at the beginning, who really warmed my heart. It touches me to know that there are so many people who are willing to open their minds to new opportunities, like doing a giant mural together. Um, I wanna thank our Kickstarter backers, more than 100 of them including several local and regional businesses, just to name a few, like the Rockford Area Convention and Visitors Bureau, Supply Corps, and 304 Maine. I also want to extend my sincere gratitude and appreciation for those artists, some, some hobbyists and some professionals who gave their time to help me with the finishing touches on the mural. And most of all, the hundreds of people, young and old, who came to paint the background of this mural. Without their cooperation and support, none of this would have been possible. If you'd like to learn more about any of the things I mentioned or have mentioned, you can visit the uh, page on my website dedicated to this project. Um, there will be a QR code in the lower corner of the mural here uh, where you can scan with your camera and uh, a link will pop up that you can click on that'll take you to that page. This is also where I'll add a documentary short we're working on with Tony McLaughlin, a local Rockford filmmaker who's been documenting this project from the beginning. When it's complete, um, and there'll be bits of information about some of the images in the mural. 
So in the spring of 2018, I was invited by Reverend Rebecca White Newgren to come to Rockford. She wanted me to do this mural with the community here after she watched a short film about a mural I did in my hometown of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That film has connected me to others here, uh, including the Baha'i community where it first screened, um, now friends who became interested in doing a similar project, um, and she became interested in doing a similar project here uh, with the community in Rockford. So uh, this was my first time working out of town, and therefore it has a special place in my heart here, Rockford. Um, I, I mean, um, Getting to connect with those folks early on made me feel welcome and at home here. Um, being that I'm not from here, the first thing I had to do was get around to see the city and learn about it. So one of our mutual friends told, um, took me on a bike ride, who, uh, who's a native Rockportian, and we went from the east side riding into the neighborhood where he grew up on the west side. We rode around the south side, um, we drove all around um, the South Side and the East Side, all while, all while narrating stories and introducing me to people here. Through Rebecca and others I connected with here, they wanted to share their city with me the way they see it. I saw the parts of the city that are not doing so well. There are parts that are isolated, and I saw the parts that are doing well. To me, a city has a life, and like life, there are ups and downs. It's not so much a bad thing to me because it's a part of life. And in life there are challenges and with challenge comes opportunity. That's what this mural project is about. One thing I've noticed in my time here is that when things get difficult, people come together and help each other. To me that speaks a lot about the goodwill in people's hearts here. So part of the invitation to come here, I believe, came out of the recognition of the good that is already here and wanting a way to express itself on a big canvas like this wall. So that was the opportunity here, a chance for people to express their feelings about the life in their community. The process of designing this mural offered people from all walks the chance to first acknowledge the challenges, then think of different ways of helping make those better. And last, imagine what a brighter future can look like for Rockford. We can see the challenges on the far left, represented by dark clouds. The river represents the city of Rockford as a whole, reaching towards something brighter. Moving towards the center, we see some of the choices people named about how to make things better. One thing that is common here among all people is a love for arts and culture and festivals. I saw that when I was at BDS last two summers, people of all walks um, doing everything from hip hop and opera to jazz to children's um, children's choir and there was just such a diversity of expression um, people here want opportunities for different creative outlets it brings people together as we move towards the center we see we, we see the uh, things that every healthy community needs education community and cultural centers manufacturing or commerce which also represents a strong part of Rockford's history and health there are many of those institutions here in Rockford, so just to represent a few, uh, we chose some of them from different parts of Rockford, pictured together here as one. There's Crusader Health, Woodward, Booker Washington Community Center, Rock Valley College, and the Coronado Theater. When the first design workshops happened, it was incredibly moving for me to see and to hear the different responses in people to participate. That willingness and the interest of different people of different backgrounds working together. For example, when the panels were brought to other parts of Rockford like Northwest Community Center, the Jubilee Center across the street, Christ the Rock on the other side of town, the, the raw joy that people showed just to having that opportunity to paint on these panels, even though they were separate pieces and not all together, just because they wanted to be a part of something this big, it moved me, and, and that's, what, that's what touches me. 
It didn't matter to them that the panels were not all together as one. They didn't care that they were painting separate pieces from someplace in town maybe they had never been to. Nobody questioned that fact. So that enthusiasm, just to be a part of something, really said something to me. From the beginning, I was told this mural isn't about the church or religious symbols. It's about community, the life in the community. And to me, we're all a part of one community as human beings. We're all parts connected to a greater whole. And the more we can participate in life to make something better, the better the whole can reflect its parts. That's what this mural is to me. It's about life. We all have the same needs in life, to feel joy, to party, to celebrate, to belong, and to participate as part of something bigger. It's that raw life moving through us as human beings that I believe is the most precious commodity we have because that's where our potential to create something from nothing comes from. It's like we're building the plane while flying, working together through different challenges meant we had to be flexible, willing to adapt and be open-minded. That's what it means to create something from nothing. Everyone here who was a part of that, that's what made this project possible. For example, none of us had done a Kickstarter before. People came together for that. We built it from the ground up. Then the panels, all 55 had to be prepped and painted inside the church on the floor, not outside like we had hoped, where we knew a, a lot of people would come and want to be involved just because we were outside. But the weather was getting cold. So at every turn, there was this opportunity for people to help, and they did. I feel moved and touched by the way people have come together for this project, have shown up and offered to help in different ways. I feel that spirit of generosity here in the hearts of the people of Rockford. That's what this project is about, creating something from nothing. Before we had a plain blank wall, now with its vibrant color, it calls from more than two blocks away, even across the city, potentially. It's incredible the amount of life it has already brought. Everyone poured their potential into this piece of work, and that's what we see here. So that's what makes this project so beautiful to me, is watching that spirit of collaboration take flight. A miracle of flight that had arms and legs and hands and more than 200 heads and hearts. We can see that collective spirit in the stork delivering Rockford's future in the form of a baby. It's the miracle of new life, the hope and the, 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 hope and the potential of new possibilities. I'm grateful and honored to have been a part of this two-year amazing journey, and I want to thank everyone who had a part in bringing this lasting symbol of our common good to life. I present to you Rockford Taking Flight. who participated on this project so you can hear in their own words um, what it was like and I see Marlon here uh, Marlon would you like to come up and share a few words about your experience and what this mural means to you part of it, you know, and it's really gives us a visual of where we want to take the community and we want to go with Rockford moving forward, you know, from the children and mentoring, you know, helping the elderly, you know, of course things we already do as far as the uh, parades, you know, is just bringing new life and a new vision for Rockford, that's what it means for me. Thank you, uh, Pastor Newgren. Uh, first, uh, 
Tia, it really is beautiful. And I just want to say thank you. I think Pastor Rebecca and Second First have found the absolute perfect artist to bring the community together, to bring us what is really just an unbelievably gorgeous and inspiring visual for our entire neighborhood. And I agree with you. That will be seen and heard from across the city. So thank you. Second, I'll be a little selfish and just speak for myself. Maybe I think the whole city would agree. But we are so fortunate to have Pastor Rebecca, not just at Second First. I know the congregation here thinks that she's yours. But the impact that you've made on our entire community citywide, in every neighborhood, reaching every different age group and race, has been inspiring. And I just want to say a special thank you to Second First Congregation for not only doing this mural, but always being willing to share Pastor Rebecca. So thank you. My last big thank you is to Lorraine Logan. There's a lot of people in our community and across the country who have the means to donate. There's people who give financially. There's people who give with active sweat equity. There are very few people across this country and in our community who do both. And not only does she always give of her treasure, but probably some of her most meaningful impact has been giving of her time and her talents. So a huge thank you to you, Lorraine, for always participating in projects that bring us together. So thank you. I'll just say, when you hear some of the stats and some of the information about this unbelievable, beautiful mural, you hear about kids, I believe around 90 students from Haskell, from their STEAM program, who came to help out. That's bringing our community together. When you talk about more than 200 individual citizens who came together to help bring this to life, that's our community coming together. When you hear of over 100 people donating their own dollars towards this project, that's our community coming together. And I think it does a beautiful job of illustrating where we were, where we're at now, and that we have a lot of work together to get to where we want to be and where I think all of our citizens deserve us to be. Art is one of those unique things that have an ability, really unlike any other, to inspire us and to provide us that hope that tomorrow will be a better day. And I think during all of the consternation that we're going on across the country and across our own community, it's really good. It's bringing a voice to often those who have not had a voice, and quite honestly, to folks who may not have been listening. And I just want to say thank you on behalf of the citizens of Rockford and on behalf of the city council for bringing this, because this will be a reminder of what we can be when we all come together and continue to work towards progress in our community. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you for all of you who have put your time and your talent and your money and your hopes behind this project. The gratitude abounds today, as you can see. So many thanks to you, Tia, Lorraine, to Jeremiah Development for pulling people together and always being a steady force for this neighborhood. And again, to all of you who are here, I do want to take a point of pastoral privilege. I know that this is a community gathering, but I would love to close us in prayer to ask God to use this mural um, to further the peace and justice work that we're doing. So I pray from the Christian perspective, please join me as you feel, uh, as you so desire. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, it is only you who can bring us Tia Richardson by way of the Arts Council and the Baha'i Center. And so we give you thanks. We thank you for her creativity, for the way she brings peace, for the way this entire project has drawn Rockford together. I pray, O oh Lord, that this is just a beginning, that we can continue to come together, that the dreams that we have for Rockford, that you have for Rockford, 
where all people are loved and cherished and valued, where all people have their due education, their due chance at justice. Lord, it is you who calls us to be better, to do better, and may this mural inspire us to continue to come together, to continue to be the Rockford you want us to be. Oh Lord, it is your dream and may it be so. Amen. Thank you so much for coming. Grateful for all of you. Uh, thank you, Tia. Okay, turn this off. Sure. sure. Thank you all to our Facebook Live and all for being here. I'm really grateful that you have joined together. Uh, I hope that you have been inspired and may we all continue to be the rock of God's voice. Bye.